I'm Sky Moore, and I'm here to teach you about film financing and creativity and making your dreams happen and how to protect yourself in making it happen. And the, mo the first thing I want to tell you is that the most important creative aspect that you can do if you want to make a film is learn the financing side, learn the business side, learn, learn how the industry works rather than learning how to write a script or how to shoot a film. What matters now is creativity. If you can bring financing to the table, you will have control over your destiny and control over your project. And the, the rule one that you need to know for film financing is that most films lose money. 80% of the films that are made lose money. And why? Why is that? And the answer is actually fairly simple, which is if you go to a cocktail party and you're trying to impress your friends, or impress the member of the opposite sex. Would you rather say to them, hey baby, I make films? Or would you rather say, hey baby, I make doorknobs? Right? And the answer is pretty obvious. People want to produce films because it's sexy, it's fun, it's sex in the Freudian sense, it's maybe sex in the real sense, but whatever it is, it's driven by a primal desire for people to do what's fun and what's interesting. And so you have a rush to production and you have this oversupply on the film production side. 600 to 700 films get made every year. Of those, only about 200 receive any distribution at all of a decent theatrical release. And the rest go hungry. The rest chase the festival circuit and hope to come home with a best dramatic category from the San Sebastian Film Festival. But the truth is that doesn't earn any money and never will. And so the films end up going direct to radio and never get released and everyone that invested in it loses their money. It's this blockbuster optimism that drives, that drives film financing. So if you want to make money, the short answer is be on the distribution side. Let's talk about the studios for a moment. How do they make money? They make money off distribution. Right? They make money on other people's money and other people's films. The happiest day for a studio is when someone shows up and hands them a film that some other goofball financed, and the studio now gets a distribution fee off the gross, so they have no capital at risk, and they are more than glad to unload economic risk. Whoever wants to show up at a studio store and invest, studios are thrilled to do it. So the studios, their power comes from, they have a library, they have the size, to deal with the economic foibles when films go bad and they control distribution. Take the opposite side, the independent film companies that don't control distribution. One bad film when it, that loses money, they're done. They go bankrupt. They don't control distribution and they don't have the financing to stay at the table when they lose money. What are the implications of this? Well, <clears throat> number one is never invest your own money in a film, right? Don't go off and use your own credit card to make your special film because you read that somebody did that and made a million dollars. For every story you'll hear of that, there's a 99 people out of 100 that lost everything and went bankrupt. So never invest your own money in a film. If you're reading projections and the projections show the, the happy rosy thing going upstream, which they always do, endless profits, and you want to know the truth, turn it upside down because the truth is, that's where it ends up. It ends up going the other way. Here's another one. Should you set up a foreign tax plan because you're going to save taxes on all the profits? And the answer is no. What you should be thinking about is how do I use the losses that are inevitably going to occur? Another thing is the, you be aware that the industry has a voracious appetite for money. Schemers and dreamers know it. They're looking for you because they know that you need money to make your film. Let's look at history. Let's just see what's actually happened out there. Let's start in the early 80s. My first career, I was working for the biggest companies at the time, the independents. They financed off the public equity market at the time. We were doing public raises for probably a billion dollars that we raised. And one of the biggest companies, Carolco, made Terminator and Rambo, which were some of the most successful films at the time. And who knows what happened to Carolco? It went bankrupt, as did Canon and all the other independents at the time. Bankrupt. And if those companies go bankrupt, have your heart out for the rest of the industry. Then came the Japanese financing into the industry. And at the height, Matsushita bought Universal and, and Sony bought what was then Columbia and lost billions of dollars. Matsushita finally gave up and sold out billions of dollars. And the next wave, what came next? Insurance-backed financing. The insurance companies were going to outsmart everybody. And they came and financially backed three and a half billion dollars of films, all of which was lost. All of which. Oh, then came the 
German public market and they raised several billion dollars and that crashed and burned. And then the German tax shelter market came. They have way too much money in Germany, obviously. That came and raised mm, probably a billion and a half dollars and that crashed and burned. And then came New York with their Monte Carlo projections and their financial calculations and they're so clever and in the mid 2000s they put in billions of dollars into slate financing and that crashed and burned. Over and over and over billions of dollars has been lost. So what does that tell you? If you're trying to raise money, what you don't do is pitch the economics. You don't do black and white projections showing this and that because they're all lies. What you want to sell is sex. You want to sell that the person will get a credit on the film, that they can go to the premiere, that they can go to the party and meet the stars. All right? And that's what you're pitching. So be aware that out there in the real world, what people want to know, they want a glossy color pictures on their coffee tables. They want to know that they're involved in the industry. And, and that's really how you pitch it. That's all for now. This is Sky Moore, your host. Be sure to tune in for the next segment.